are in a world of innovation where when you think you've seen it all boom another one emerges welcome to another tutorial from little mr channel at the end of today's video you are assured to be able to do the pocket you're seeing on the screen right now if this content added value to you please consider clicking the like button leave me a comment that i may know where to improve click the subscribe buttons if you haven't done so and turn on your notification bell that you may always be the first to watch every video coming from the mr channel thank you very much the first thing to do is to draw the apple now i'm drawing my apple on food The next thing to do is to cut out the bite of Eve. Now we are going to trace out the hapu on a gum stick. And also the dots and heat. Yes, I called it dot. Tell me in the comment section what the actual name of it is. I will really appreciate that. Now we have the popular icon diagram. It is not a thing of news that the size of scissors I have here won't be good for the cutting of the dot. So I will introduce these small cutting tools. Try as much as possible to be accurate. Now I'm going to gum this to my pocket fabric. You are advised not to scrub the iron on it. If you felt there is a need for it, let it be with much carefulness that you may not ruin this as it will be responsible for the impression the eye will be receiving about your design. Now we are going to work with the scissors again.
do not be confused. I slit the hemigum to a very small size. Are you seeing how helpful the fingernail is here? Now to the other side of it, we are going to perform the same task. Now you see this? Let us notch around also the apple. Like I said earlier, make sure you didn't deform the gum stay by the iron. It is not necessary that you must fold around completely the apple before putting emmy gum. You can do this at every bit of progress. And this is what we have now. Remember, in our previous discussion, we talked about wording. These are chest wording of the thick type. The lace, with emmy gum, just like we did in our previous discussion. You wet, you lay, you lace, wet and lay. Now we are going to cut out the apple. And also be sure of the direction you are facing your apple. Ensure you don't revert the idea. You are going to see that this will fit in perfectly.
let's bring out the shape. Please click the like button if the content of this video so far had a value to you. Leave me a comment in the comment box. Click the subscribe button if you haven't done so and turn on your notification bell. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Are you seeing this? Now we are going to stitch round it. Remember in our previous discussion, I mentioned zipper foot. It is a very essential element in making this design zipper foot Now we are done with our hapo. The next is the dot on it. Remember I said what the actual name of what I'm calling dot is. I really want to know. Please tell me in the comment box below. Let's trim out the excess. In the case of this dot, you can't cut to perfection with the paper on it. You have to remove the paper and justify things with your scissors. And check after if it fits in properly. The space we've created for it on our pocket pieces. Yes, it does.
just like we did to the apple. We pad it with a hard gum stay. It will be a little bit difficult than a apple because of its size. It's very small. But do not get frustrated for it is normal. As you are pressing it with iron, always guide it with your fingers. If it is not giving you the result you want, introduce any gum. Now we are done with it. So we are going to stitch around this also, just like we did to the apple. Let's cut out the SS2. Now we are going to remove the gum stay. Then bring in whatever kind of interfacing we have choose to use for our pocket. I choose this kind of interfacing. I do call it European color stay. What do you call it? Let me know in the comment box below. Make sure the apple is well centralized. And always note that I'm pressing the interfacing only to the apple and not to the fabric. Now while pressing with iron, also dress it with your finger. This is simply to avoid rumples on your work. Thank you very much for the energy expelled so far to follow the content i really appreciate it and i also want to use this moment to say a very big thanks to you all that have been encouraging me with your subscription your likes your comments i acknowledge them all i really appreciate it and if there be any idea that you would like me to discuss on this channel please check the description box below there i have my whatsapp number where you can message me directly and also the telegram group where we discuss what next what's coming up next and share ideas thank you very much see you again in the next video